Let's take a moment to talk about working with sync points within Vocaline Ultra, more specifically what they are and when you might want to use them. So in this example, I've got a female lead vocal and then I have a male lead vocal that's essentially doubling what she's singing with one exception in that he kind of drops out over here and then joins her for the rest of the phrase. Let's have a listen to these two together and I have disabled my match timing preference. So we're listening to these as recorded. And now we're satellites up by you got some growing up to do. Okay, so these don't sound bad, but I really want these to be as tight as possible. And because we have a male vocal and a female vocal, we're actually able to get away with time aligning these pretty tight and we'll still be able to have the separation because they exist in a different form and, and frequency range. If I was to just apply a preset, we'll go to vocal and I'm gonna choose tight timing. Take a look what happens in our output track. We can see that the waveform that's been rendered, it looks a little weird. You can see that this is pulled over. And if we have a listen, we're gonna hear that as a result. And now we satellites are by you going oh, no. up. So we can hear it did a great job for the first part, but by this section, it has simply just pulled this word over here because it's attempting to essentially align this word with this one right over here. There's a couple different ways that we could deal with this. One way that we could do it is by working with some protected areas, but in this case, I wanna take a look at using sync points because they are a really quick and easy way to be able to fix some common problems such as this. First and foremost, what is a sync point? Well, basically, it's just a way for us to help Vocaline Ultra in terms of creating some points that are connected to each other. Kind of giving it a little bit of a hint, and then once you give it a hint, it knows what to do with the rest. So as I hover my cursor in these different sections over here, you can see that for the most part, Vocaline is showing the alignment points. Now, if I hover towards here, Notice that the alignment point that it's automatically created to do this render is actually the wrong one. Like I mentioned, this is the point and it's aligning to here. So what we can do is I'm just gonna click and then this creates some sync points over here. Now I can drag these out manually so I could align the front of this to the front of this section over here. That's helped, you can kind of smooth this out until things look the way you want them to. And also it helps a little bit to actually zoom in a little bit closer. Now this has fixed this section pretty good, but maybe I wanna put just another one here so that this slips back or slides back. Now I can zoom in and refine these sync points as close as I need to. So this one over here, maybe I'll just move this front point out and there, that looks probably like it's gonna be perfect. Now let's have a listen to the two of these. And now we're satellites up by you, got some growing up to do. So sync points are a really quick and easy way to be able to manually give Vocaline Ultra a little bit of a tip or a little bit of help to say, hey, you see this point of audio right over here? Well, I want you to align it to this part. And once you do that, Vocaline Ultra is really good at picking up from there and getting the rest bang on. And then of course, we can adjust these points and then the whole entire performance will be aligned based on the parameters that we've dialed in or the preset that we've used. But sync points are a great way to kind of perfect the results that you're getting and correct any issues where certain words or consonants have either been stretched out or hyper compressed in a way that's not intended. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you for more in the next video.